Hey guys, Troy here with another carpet installation tip. This video is going to be focused on the difference between straight using a straight edge or a top row cutter when preparing a seam for a cut pile residential carpet installation. To help understand the difference between top row cutting a carpet in preparation for seam and uh, straight edge straight edge cutting the carpet in preparation for the seam, uh, I want to show a couple uh, show, show you the differences here. One with a top row. Uh, cutting method, you're going to find a row in the carpet which is between the rows of, of uh, nap. Once you find that, you're then going to take your top row cutter and you're going to cut it in between those rows. Now, I have beveled the edge of this carpet back with scissors to expose the edge of the backing to show uh, the difference here. So this piece has been row cut. If you look down the edge, the carpet row that's nearest to the edge is fully intact. There's not a lot of backing showing. If we do this to both sides and uh, put them together properly, uh, we're gonna construct a very nice seam. When using a straight edge to cut the carpet uh, to prepare it for the seam, you turn the carpet over on its back, you put your straight edge on the backing of the carpet and you take your knife and run it down the, the edge of your straight edge. Um, by doing that, you're not able to stay in between two rows of carpet. What that leaves you with is areas where your blade is going to skip from row to row, leaving you with exposed portions of, of backing. Right? These little spots of, uh, of bare backing don't look like it's a big deal. However, if both the main piece and your fill piece that you're going to be attaching to it uh, end up joining in the same spot, then you've got these spots where you're going to have a large area of backing together, giving the appearance that there's a hole in the carpet uh, and making the seam visible. So when looking at a seam, uh, it's something else to look out for to be able to tell if the carpet has been, in fact, row cut or if it has been straight edged. And uh, this is one indicator that this carpet has absolutely uh, been straight edged. The preferred method for preparing carpet seams in a cut pile residential carpet is to use a top cutter. Um, you avoid uh, issues like this. Quick recap, uh, in using a top row cutter in preparation for making your seam in a cut pile residential carpet, uh, you're going to give yourself a nice, straight, even edge. Uh, using the straight edge from the back method, you are going to end up with areas where you cross the rows and you end up with exposed backing. Uh, joining this piece with your fill piece or the piece that you're seaming to it, where these two uh, areas meet each other, uh, will give the appearance that there are holes in the carpet. So um, again, preferred method would be to use a top row cutter. Thanks for watching.